do. Now here we are in order launch here and we're just looking at one of the his latest captures here. It's a Seahawk and if I just look there you can see the burner sitting there ready. Just to get filled up we're going to give this a try <laughs> and see how she runs. And at the very first turn Orlon just turned the, the flywheel there and this little engine took off and is running silently, almost silently really well balanced this little engine this boat's going to be a cracker and a quick re-wick of the burner here because it just didn't operate the way we were looking for so we're going to try the boat again this time with a new wick in and let's see what happens now we can see the difference here with the new wick in this little engine is really travelling and if I plan back there and come to the safety valve the safety valve is blowing away there I wasn't doing that the last time and what a boat this is going to be well congratulations Rodolin I think you've got a winner here <laughs> and just look at that now propeller there going a treat, really going this boat's going to move and next in line is this beautiful boat here. Lovely. This was the third that Odlon managed to get on a, on a lot. And we're trying it now. We've just lit up some sternal below the, the boiler there. And once she cooks up, which shouldn't be too long at all, we'll give it a go and see how she does. And there it goes. There it goes, going like a dream, running on sterno, lovely, just a look, up from the front of the boat now, just looking up towards the boiler, and of course the cabin at the back there, this is a lovely machine this, all the servos are all hidden at the back there for the steering, and this is going a treat. It's going on absolute feet. Big chunky cylinder and piston here. Driving at a treat. Just a delight to see. What a lovely, what a lovely boat. I, I really like this one, I have to say. Just the slatter in you here, it's just a prop shot. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. The clatter's the prop shaft, and we've just been saying there that's three boats and three that won't take very much work at all to get them into boating pond condition and I'll be looking forward to see these ones again actually out on the water. What a lovely collection. Beautiful.